episode is proudly supported by theskilledmodeler.com. Hey guys, welcome to part 4 of the Miata build. I'm starting it off with some primer and then later on doing some color. I filmed everything I painted, but it was a bit dark as you can see in this uh, separate section alone and the other stuff I filmed was pretty much useless. So I only have some material on painting the seats and then I will be moving on to detailing the rest of this build out. painting and moving on to the assembly. Starting it off by doing the window trim, I'm doing this freehand because I thought that would be faster and it would look just as good. painting the indicators. They are molded in so you have to paint them on the body as they are not separate pieces. I painted them silver first and later on I will do some clear orange over top of them to make them look realistic. Now for the tail lights I decided not to paint them but do them in some bare metal foil. You apply the foil, uh, put it in place gently with a q-tip and for the tighter areas I use a toothpick, cut it out and remove the excess material and that's pretty much it.
This kit is a curbside, that means it does not have an engine or a hood that opens. So the engine parts that are there are mostly molded into the chassis and need to be painted silver and that's what I'm doing right here. Also some other parts received some silver and some black as well but I didn't really bother showing you that as it's really boring and it would make a very very long video. For the dashboard I decided to do a lot of the buttons in silver and I'm detailing it out with some other colors later on. For some of the finer detail in the dashboard, I sharpened a toothpick and dipped it in some red paint to do the fade out between blue and red for the heater. And the radio display got some green. final piece for this video is the steering wheel. This is a steering wheel from Skill Productions, available on theskillmodeler.com and through Skill Productions themselves of course. I painted it flat black and that's pretty much it. Check out theskillmodeler.com, our Facebook page, and as always if you have any questions or suggestions post a comment or shoot me an email. And thanks for watching, hope to see you guys next time.